Hi guys! Welcome once again to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Today I'm very excited to be sharing with you the tutorial for this look. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial. So if you want to see how I accomplished this look, just keep on watching. All right, so let's start. And no makeup but these eyes. I already did my brow on this side because on my previous videos, I show you how I do my brow. So I just don't want to make this too long of a video. So I'm just going to start by applying my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And to apply that, I'm going to use this angled brush. And this used to be just a soft brush by e.l.f. But I cut it to make it angled like that, so it didn't come like that. So we're gonna just apply all over the lid. Alright, now I'm gonna grab a brown eyeshadow. This one is the Harvest Brown by Coastal Sands. Obviously, it doesn't need to be the exact same one, but a brown that looks like this. And I'm not gonna apply here in the crease. This will be a transition color. And to apply that, I'm using my MAC 217 brush. This is an awesome blending brush for that. And what I'm doing, I'm concentrating on the crease right here and blending up upwards like that now I'm gonna grab a black eyeshadow today I'll be using corrupt by makeup geek and the reason why I really like this black eyeshadow because it's so pigmented it's crazy like it's just amazing I really love 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 this eyeshadow and I'm gonna apply that with this real techniques brush this is a base shadow brush, it's very fluffy, I'm just gonna grab a little bit since it's like super pigmented because we can just build up as we go. So I start on the corner and I start dragging towards the center of that crease. Alright, and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more of color because I really wanna concentrate here in the corner. So I'm just grabbed a little bit and I'm gonna just do little taps like so because I want the color to be concentrated here. This eyeshadow that you probably seen in previous videos and it's Mink by Cover Girl, but it can be any brownish, tannish eyeshadow that you have. This like this has a little shimmer and to apply that I'm gonna use another of my 217 brush by MAC and I'm gonna apply on this area here above where I had the black and I'm gonna also touch the black and go back and forth like this to blend it so it's we have a smooth transition over there Alright, next I'm gonna grab this e.l.f. blending brush and I'm gonna apply a highlighter, my highlighter color today is by Makeup Geek and the name is Shima Shima. I love this, also super pigmented, just like all the eyeshadows they have, I love their eyeshadows. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit and apply on the brow bone. like so and in the inner corner All right so now the fun part we're gonna apply the pigment on the lid so today I'm gonna be using this pigment by Mac it's called rose but well, obviously can be any pigment you have or any eyeshadow you have. I'll show you this color. So that's the pigment we're gonna be using. It's, it's very nice. And to apply that, I'm gonna use this Makeup Geek flat brush. So you can use any flat brush you have 
just make sure it's not like a fluffy fluffy brush like this otherwise it's not gonna work and before we start application I'm gonna put a little bit of eye drops here in my hand and we're gonna wet this brush just a little bit tap to get the excess out so it's just a little bit it's not too crazy and I have a little bit of pigment on the lid so I'm gonna start with that And with the pigment, we're just gonna tap on the lid. You're not gonna drag. You're just gonna tap. And because I want it to be very smooth between the pigment and the black eyeshadow, I'm gonna grab this blending brush here by e.l.f. And I'm just gonna go very gently in between the two colors and do a little blending like so all right now i'm gonna grab my gel liner by maybelline in black and to apply that i'm gonna use this makeup geek liner brush but it can be any brush you have as long as it's like small like this Now with the same eyeliner and same brush, I'm gonna do the bottom lashes. Now let's do this challenge to try to do a thin line over here like I did this double liner here. the L'Oreal Waterproof Luminous Carbon Black. Now I'm gonna apply this concealer, it's the Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. To apply that, I'm gonna use this Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush. It's too small for a foundation brush, so I just use this concealer brush. And I like it because it's pointed, so I can go right under the eyeliner and be very precise with it. gonna apply the foundation and today I'm gonna be using the Neutrogena healthy skin liquid makeup and I'm going to apply a little bit on the top of my hand and I'm gonna grab my favorite foundation brush by Coastal Sense and it's the BR 110 Now I'm gonna apply the blush and the bronzer and today I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna use cream blush and a cream bronzer. So the cream blush I'll be using is the NYX cream blush and this color is tickled. And it's all crazy like this around because I use this <laughs> brush to apply it. So I just tap a little bit like this, pick up a little bit of product only. And just do little taps like this. I do have a video about uh, how to apply cream blush. So if you'd like to watch that, just check it out. I will put it on the description box anyway. Make it easy for you. So you just tap like so. 
I like cream blushes because they're very glowy. They're easy to apply once you get, you know, the technique down. So it's uh, it will be easy for you. But you have to work fast with them. That's the only thing. They dry fast, then you won't be able to be moving them too much around on your face. Perfect. Now, with the same brush, I'm gonna grab this NYX. It's called Cream Blush too, but it's a bronzer. And it's called Bronze Goddess. And it looks like this. When below where I have the blush, I'm gonna apply the bronzer. Right. Now to finalize, I'm just going to apply this lip gloss. I have no idea which brand this is because it wore off. I think it was Essence and I bought it at Ulta. But it's just a light pink gloss. Obviously you can apply any gloss you like. Alright, perfect. So, I hope you guys liked this Valentine's Day look and I hope you guys will have a fantastic Valentine's Day and I will see you very soon.